Today, I'm going to share here in the booth things that are very much in the theme of collaboration. So, I am a former school principal, so one of my presentations today is on collaborating as a teacher leader or as a principal. So, as I take you through the presentation, I'm sharing some tools that I think would be advantageous to use, probably more so as a principal or a, a leader in your position, but also as a teacher leader. Okay? And then kind of showcasing the screen at the same time, the board. <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit about me. I'm a consultant, I'm a blogger, I'm a speaker, uh, adjunct professor, and I'm a former school principal. So my passions are varied, but as a principal, I hired probably over 100 new teachers, and so I'm also very much an advocate for new teachers and now really aspiring administrators. So I started a chat on Twitter called New Teacher Chat. So I retired the chat in 2017, but it's still one of my big passions. So as a social media maven, I did a lot of that in the chat. So one of the things that I think happens to us as educators is that we become very um, disjointed and disconnected. So we're talking a lot about you need to find your tribe to really feel connected to others because I'm an edu education consultant, so I work from home. So I'm very disconnected. So when I get together with folks at an event like this that I've known, like my friend Bill and my friend Linda, it's lovely because I feel connected again. But then as the time passes and the event ends, it's like, how am I going to get back that feeling of being with my tribe of, of people? So the way that you can do it is through using apps and social media. So I'm going to share a little bit about how that might look. Okay? So that in essence, even as a teacher, you want to be somebody who's connected. So the first app I want to share is Voxer. Have you ever heard of Voxer? Okay. So Voxer is an app that allows you to chat in real time using your voice, text, photos, or videos. And it really supports you to connect with a tribe, but also it allows you to maximize your time. So I want to show you a little bit what that looks like. Okay. So a presentation I did last year at ASCD we did a, a presentation on having and finding your tribe as actual administrators. And a woman who is very active in a Voxer group that I'm in shared her experience with being in the Voxer group. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to take us to that link. There we go. Tell us about your individual experience. So my favorite feature of Voxer. So you can see that even as I'm using this tool, a link that I placed in my presentation can take me to this whole discussion that we're having where Anne talks about how she feels Voxer is an important tool for her. So it's pretty cool, right? So Voxer, great tool, classroom teacher, administrator, even in your position you can use it. Okay. Okay. The other piece is communication is a language of leadership. So if you're not communicating, if you're not blogging, if you're not doing some way to share how you feel your role and the thing that you need to do is important, then you're really going to get lost. So one of the things that I really like to suggest to folks that are aspiring leaders or teachers that want to be leaders is to blog. If you're not blogging, you're not having the opportunity to share your voice with the community. The other thing that you can do is start a very simple podcast and when you do that, you actually get to speak your voice and share the importance of what your passions are in that way. And welcome, thanks for, thanks for coming. So how do you share your learning with others? What is the mode that you use to bring what you're doing to others so that you can connect with your tribe? Okay. And we know that storytelling is huge, so how are you telling your story? So one of the things that I would suggest that you do is consider using Instagram consider using Periscope or using apps like Facebook Live and their stories. So have any of you tried those before? No, no you're saying no. Okay, so can you be a storyteller and a leader? My assertion is that in order to share where you are, in order to start connecting with your tribe, you need to learn how to be a storyteller, okay? So 
Instagram can feel that. It can feel collaboration. You can use stories. You can use images. There are some hacks that ed uh, educators can use when they're using Instagram to improve the way that they use it. Okay. Periscope is a great tool that allows you to speak to your community, and I love it. I would especially urge you to follow the Passiscope EDU that does tremendous things with Periscope and connects educators to events every month, and it's really fantastic. Facebook is another tool that I think is fantastic that allows us to connect with others. But I would suggest that you check out going live on Facebook, and a lot of educators are starting to do that, to share a message, to talk about a conference, to talk about a book that they've written, and it's really cool. And Facebook stories are really hot, and they're just as much fun as Instagram stories. So if you've not tried them, I want to suggest that you do, even for your own personal thing that you like to do on Facebook. So. How do you use social media? Do you use Facebook? Do you use Twitter? Yes. yes, both of those. So in essence, I want you to find your tribe. And if you have already found your tribe, I want you to tell your story and learn to communicate more about what you're doing and collaborate. And the most importantly, to replace the fear of the unknown with curiosity. So that's me. And I'd love for you to follow me and I'd love to follow you back.